Hey guys, it's Callum from All Smart Things. Today we're going to be showing you the Broadlink RM Pro and how you can make a smart home for less than $350 controlling blinds, voice control, uh, PowerPoint, and, and one light. So the Broadlink enables uh, RF, which is radio frequency, which then this speaks to each of these devices. Uh, the Google Homes connected via Wi-Fi. And then uh, through the broad link, then you can enable voice control. So you can ask Google to turn off the lights, turn off the socket, or to close the blinds. You also have a Chromecast, which is connected to the Google via Wi-Fi. So then we can ask uh, Google to uh, put on YouTube or different videos or our photos from our phone. Um, and then it will be able to display it on our TV. Also through the RM Pro, we can ask the uh, RM Pro to change the channel of the TV because this is an IR repeater. So it will be able to repeat what your remote control would do. Uh, and so then you can ask Google to turn on the TV, turn off the TV, uh, change the channel. Also, we have a, a portable air conditioner, which has an IR remote. Since it has an IR remote, we can use the Broadlink again to turn on and off the aircon unit and uh, to adjust the temperature. The fan speed uh, basically have full control of that air conditioning unit. Uh, in, if you also have some ceiling fans or um, even desktop fans that use a remote control, you will be able to use this Broadlink to control it. So for for, uh, for a good price, you can have full house control. We also have the Oz Smart Blinds. So this uh, uses an RF frequency as well. So this re retrofits onto your existing blinds uh, using the, the cord or the beaded chain. Um, it hooks into this device and then you can control it uh, via manual buttons that are on the device. Uh, there's also a RF remote that you can order uh, to control the blinds. But then also, through the broad link, you can get Google to uh, open and close the blinds as you require, or set schedules inside the broad link so every, every night they automatically close. Same with the, with the lights. You can have um, the schedule for the lights to come on at a certain time, uh, or a socket, so if you have a lamp in there, you can have that uh, controlled by that and also your aircon. So you could uh, set uh, for your aircon to turn on before you get home, either by going to the app uh, anywhere in the world, you can control it uh, as long as you have a internet connection, then you can turn on your, your air conditioning unit before you get home. Or if you're always home at 5 p.m., you can get set it to start cooling at 4.30 p.m. So it's nice and chilled when you get home. This is a, is a basic uh, home automation system uh, to control these uh, devices. It's, uh, the RF protocol is not the most robust. Um, the devices will only receive the signal. There's no feedback from these devices. Unlike uh, more comprehensive uh, systems like Z-Wave, then um, this system there's not a send and receive. So um, if you set the aircon to turn on when you're traveling home, uh, you have no way of telling if that's turned on or off unless you have a temperature sensor in the room. Um, so it's, it's a really good system. It's, uh, it's good value, uh, but for a large installation or a complex installation, these, these products aren't, uh, aren't the best for that. We'll also be giving out a ebook of exactly uh, step by step how we did each one of these functions. So setting up the RM Pro to control the TV, to control the aircon, to control a fan, uh, also to control the smart blinds, also the uh, light switch and the RF socket as well. So um, we're going to be going through step by step, uh, taking screenshots of exactly how I built this smart home. 
all the Google integrations, how to get the, the words into Google, and then show you everything operating.